Legend of Total War here with part what are we up to 79 of my Call of Warhammer Rage of the Dark Gods Let's Play campaign as the Warrior of Corn. Previously, we defeated a full stack of um, the Border Princes at Nuln, I think it was, and conquered Wissenberg, of course, using blunderbusses, which I'm sure people are going to winch about, but fuck you. That's all, that's all I really have to say at this point. Um, now we're going to go after potting. Now, I could, of course, use a blunderbuss technique on this settlement, which would technically be the effective way to go, because most of the soldiers in here are um, melee troops. However, um, I will draw them out instead, just because I think it'll be quicker, and it's not going to be as good results, but I'm so sick of everyone's whinging, to be honest. So I'm just sort of caving in on it. Just trying to decide which army I should use. This one's got artillery and blunderbusses. Only a couple, though. Blood for the, blood the problem is, all my armies that have anything useful have low numbers of it. Um, what have you got? You don't have any blunderbusses. You got a few demonettes. This guy's kind of in the way. What else have I got nearby? I've got you. You've got a lot of good, a lot of troops here. A lot of good troops. Um, what kind of cavalry do you have? Okay, maybe this one here, I'll just, let me see if I can merge it. I'll just disband that, because that's kind of shit. And you've also got the Horrors of Cinch. Are you any good? Yeah, you're a very good commander. You got no, um, you don't have the, what's it called, the, the thing. Oh, fuck, man, my brain's failing on me. Uh, Potion of Vitality. So I'll give you one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ass monkey. Blood for the blood gods. Trace corn. Actually, why don't I just get him to command it instead? Alright, so I'll send send him to land here. With all of these and uh, not you. All of these guys. I'll give them also a cannon. And the demonettes. Okay, the odds are actually in my favor. Mostly infantry. What are these? Infantry as well. Shouldn't be able to escape. I probably didn't need the demonettes. They've got no cavalry here. Now, we take this settlement here, and that's the end of Avaland. Which is, of course, ideal to just get rid of them. So we're, what is this, episode 79, which means we're two episodes away from the final giveaway. Obviously it won't end the campaign there, but after episode 81, um, I'm basically just going to rush the campaign and just get it out, because there's, yeah, whatever. Like I said, can't, I can't justify a fourth giveaway based on the, the sort of failure of this, se uh, this series. Which, you know, it happens. Whatever. Move on to bigger and better things. So I'm just going to adjust and reorganize all this. People have also asked me, you know, why don't I use groups? Just fuck off with those questions, seriously. Okay, there we go. Okay, enemy reinforcements will pop be popping in from over here. Let's account for that. The thing is, everything I do in, in a, how I play is to my preference. So, I mean, the answer to any of your fucking questions is because I want to. That's all there is to it. I mean, if I don't play the way you play, fucking get over it. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna send the demonettes to go deal with them. Man, they're coming in close. This 
hitting and running there. That should have done a bit of damage. Artillery, but at the same time, my artillery is not going to be that useful. Right? Oh, hang on. They're right on my ass here. On my flank. So, if you guys wouldn't mind just rotating over here. I don't want to take a defensive position, but at the same time, I want to try and, you know, utilize the cavalry a little bit. Not the cavalry, the artillery. God, fucking brain dead today. Like I've said, uh... Some of us feel like I've got a little bit of minor dyslexia, so don't hold it against me. And it doesn't make me stupid just because what, um, what I'm thinking of and what I say are two different things sometimes. In the same way it doesn't make someone ignorant because they can't pronounce things that are from a different language. Like whenever I pronounce something from Latin wrong or from Polish wrong or something like that. How the fuck am I supposed to? Do you know how badly fucking Polish people pronounce English words? Fucking horrendously. So. So shut up. Okay, that's enough of that. Those um, horrors have since did a pretty good job. You might want to stop. let him deal with that. You come back over here. You turn around and start shooting at them. Oh fuck, you're under attack by what are these? Empire Swordsman. Alright, I might actually have um, him just crash into them. They sh he should be able to break them. Who's shooting at them? They've got long range archers. Okay, I'm going to send these guys in a little bit closer and try and shoot them. I'm not shooting my own troops, am I? I don't think so. Okay, there you go. Oh, fuck. Um. The thing is, like, people say you should be a bit more traditional with your fighting. But you know, traditionally, as in historically, there would be like one or two days of skirmishing before even a fight. And if the if the battle could be won using skirmish tactics, then that's what the general would do in a number of cases. So it's actually you guys who are being historically inaccurate by telling me to just rush in there like a moron. It's probably just a no one there. And that being said, this is fucking Warhammer. There is no such thing as traditional in Warhammer. Okay, you guys should come over here. Let's move all my melee infantry over to here. So, these guys here are getting a bit shot, but that's okay. They're doing a ton of damage. I just want to keep doing that, that would be great. And we've we've killed off the first army by the look of it. Let's get ready to deal with this one now. This one needs my full attention. Okay, he's taking more casualties than I would like. The thing is, he's the f one of the first units to be taking casualties, which means he'll be the first to recover. So it's okay. Come in the back here. Demon it. Oh, they moved in the way there. Not a big deal. I don't need my cannons now. Alright. Let's go. In, we, in you go to attack. Already the balance of power is massively in our favor. It would be 
very good if we can kill this enemy general, because he's a good commander, but it's not essential. Crom, you're too slow. Stupid juggernauts or whatever you got. No, they're just horses. Get rid of their missile units. So this guy's under attack by the by the ogres. Hang on, careful where you're shooting. You're gonna get friendly fire. Okay, you need to come back and charge more into these um Empire crossbowmen. As soon as we get rid of all their missile units, we can crash into the rest of them. What are you doing? Get over here. Get out of there. These generals are always very difficult to kill. All well, you guys get over here, try and crash into the back of them. Whatever the case is, we are definitely kicking their ass. Full on charge right to their back with pretty much fresh cavalry and they barely do any damage. And people say you should use professional units. Yeah, those good old professional units, they're real high quality. Kill their general, that's pretty much guarantees us victory. Okay, get over here, you manage to, uh, what are you doing? Get over there, just break everyone, break them all. Break them and run them all down. And halberdiers are good against, um, what's it called? Yeah, but I was managed, managed to break them. Okay, good. We actually did really well on that. The thing is, we're up against a really terrible army, though. It had no cavalry. If they had some cavalry, this would have been a lot more difficult. That's pretty much both armies destroyed. Yep. And that means it's the end of Avraland. I didn't need that stupid ally anyway. They weren't doing anything for me. They're just sitting there holding up land and getting in my way. And that finished them. Alright, so, diplomacy. Eight factions left to go. Two of them don't have any territory left. I've already moved you. We'll be able to make it there next turn. To Gorgoth Tower. Which hopefully will finish off another faction. Okay, now there's a number of. Um, oh, hang on. I should probably get him out of there, actually. Took all of his troops away from him. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, I'll just disband this unit. For the most part, that army is still under control. Still looking good. I mean, we could attack Avraham here, but... Oh, God, they're just going to keep recruiting more troops if we don't. Attacking it head-on is going to be... Hmm. Maybe I could attack that head-on. Like I said, I don't, don't want to cave into people that have been complaining about the series being boring, because they're probably long gone at this point, but at the same time, I don't want to do the blunderbuss technique on this, because this is really grindy. Alright, it's good these guys are out of the way. So these are all um, Averland troops. Okay, where's my next army coming from? I've got one. There's a general here, but I still need more troops for him. I can get another general here. Why not? Some good units recruitable here. Yes, look how long they take to bloody recruit. It's, I mean, they're good, but they, I don't know. Some of them, it just isn't worth that much time to get them. Should I make a lot of money each turn? What the fuck do I do? There's a dwarven settlement here, which I probably could go for, but once again, just sort of don't feel like it right now. But then again, the longer I wait, the, the more they're just going to buff up the garrison until it's a full stack, and they're just going to sit there. That's what they do. And there's a few um, Sylvanian forces around. to do. Just thinking what to do about, about these guys here. I kind of wanted to wait until they separated a little bit more. I would not spend eternity with you. I have an idea. I'm going to attack you. Okay. This, this could be a disaster, but basically my thoughts here are, I'm going to cross the river really quickly, kill these Von Karstein bodyguards, and expect that these guys are going to chase over the river to come and get me. Possibly. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll see what happens. It could end in a complete disaster. This general is also a complete loser, so... I'm not expecting a miracle. But you know, if we do get victory, that would be great. Because their enemies are going to show up from right behind us. Alright, I need to reorganize this. I don't have any cannons, do I? Nope. I'm going to use the blunderbusses first to try and shoot him a little bit. And then get everyone across. Oh, you can shoot? Well, hold your fire, just wait. Mm, I don't know if that's actually a good idea. Yeah, I didn't think so. Shit, they're actually coming over here. Quick, get back across. Yes, I'm not relying on them too much. First to die, first to recover. But yeah, we need to get across here right now. I'm going to find myself sandwiched very soon. I need to buy myself a little bit more time because I haven't quite killed these, this guy off yet. He's almost gone. You two start making your way over here. The general will buy a bit of time by taking on their skeleton crossbows. Come on. Big fat smash. Oh god, these guys just don't charge properly. Ok, 
Okay, we need to we need to move. Someone needs to stay behind, I think. And protect against the cavalry, because the cavalry is gonna come in here right now. They're coming over here. This would be good if the the uh, the, um, the halberdiers could fight them. They'd be decent against them. Oh my god, these guys here just do not want to die. Oh. Oh, also, he's not the best of generals. Oh, where are you? You, you. Stay here. Maybe you can shoot them. Finally, the guy died. The guy's getting absolutely wrecked over here. Oh, yeah, right. It's because they're trying to real hard to push through. Look at them trying to push through. Alright. All of you except for you. Hurry up, get over here. How am I going so far? Ten to... Oh, we're losing. It's alright. Everything's going to be... Be fine once these guys get a couple of shots on them. I reckon. Make sure they've got plenty of space. There didn't last very long. Come on, hurry up, get across. Okay, start shooting. I don't know if this is a good idea, but like I said, we're trying something different. You as well. Turn around and just start shooting. Oh, enemy general fallen. Well, that's good. Run back in. Oh, man, burned a lot of them. Got we even the odds right there. We've still got another army to deal with after this. Now I'm fairly sure if they need to retreat, they have to actually retreat this way because that's that's. That's why we, we did this. So that if they did have to retreat, they have to retreat into us. Oh, wait, a, wait a second, these are um, these are vampire accounts. They don't run away. I'm thinking. So killing their general is pointless. I need to, oh shit! I need to be use, utilizing these guys. Need you to shoot those skelly losers. How are we going over here, man? These these black knights, they really caused me some trouble. And these guys here not pulling out of it. Still, it's evenly matched. If, if anything, we're winning by like half a percent. God damn, I just need these guys to, to actually detach and they won't do it. How are guys here shooting? Are they doing okay? No, no, I don't need you to shoot them. I need you to shoot out here. Okay, most of their grave guards are nearly dead. Okay, we're, we're winning. Small margin, but still. Get over here. I really need them to stand here and burn down the line there, but of course I need my own guys here to push these guys away. Okay, 
now. I'm going to take a bit of a risk here. I'm going to move these guys back. Because I'm relying heavily on, on these horrors. Stand right there and you need to burn down this line if you can. Doesn't matter if you get a little bit of friendly fire, just start shooting. Come on, do it. No, that won't do it. There's still too many of them in combat. That can't escape, it's too dense. But we're winning, by a small margin still, we're winning. I would have happily sacrificed this entire army if it means victory. It's getting rid of the vampire counts, which have been a pain in my ass for not really that long, but still a pain. Okay, good, they're about to shoot. There we go, now we got them. I'd say victory is certain now. through there. But these guys can. And they are burning them up. The skeletons aren't too good at defending against these horrors of Cinch. Go another general down. Oh, we've actually captured some men. Yeah, because it's their empire soldiers that they've got. Oh no, they're running away the other side. Well, that's not what I expected. Maybe it's because they came around from this side. Doesn't matter. Even if they get away, we've still killed nearly 85%. And I'll send the cavalry to run them down afterwards. Now uh, the bulk of their soldiers will be skeletons anyway. And they'll all fight to the death. <coughs> so where are we going? Lost half my army, they've lost three quarters. All the kills that are done around here pretty much can be attributed to the uh, horrors of Cinch. What are you doing? Still says the balance of power is just evenly matched. What's this coming in over here? Oh, those... they haven't entered the battlefield yet. Shoot those skele uh, skeleton crossbows or whatever. Because we need range to get them now. Okay, we've run out of ammo. They haven't. Anyway, press the attack, and uh, we've got this. Of course, our army's in absolute shit state, but um, I'm not unhappy with how this went. So if this keeps up. This faction is not going to last much longer. Okay, I want you to come over here and kill these guys. Because they haven't entered the battlefield. Let's just kill them anyway. They shouldn't be able to fight back. Yep. 
A little bit of a bug in the game, but whatever. The fuck? Oh, they're free company. Yeah, whatever. It's okay if some of them get away. Okay, we, we killed the majority of them. Yeah, all three armies are dead. That's what we need to see. Gee, he gained a lot of extra command points for that. Victory is assured. He gained a lot of command. Of course, his army is complete dog shit now, but... Uh, if we stay there, we're fucked. Or I could just give him some reinforcements. I'll give him some reinforcements. What does he need? Three units? If the orcs come after us, they're fucked, but whatever. There's not too many um, vampire accounts left around now to deal with. Uh, I forgot to destroy all this shit that we didn't need. Okay, I think I'll uh, end the turn pretty much here. I just go around spending the last of my money. I mean, there is still more things I can do, but I think I'd rather just wait. How do I get my better units? Um, let me see here. Getting better barracks? Yeah, alright, go with that. He's pretty much ready to move out. I just left them behind. Settlement's under control at least. But what am I going to do with him? Might tend to go finish off the last of the, the um, these losers. Alright, I still need to be keeping an eye on this. We're going to take a few attempts to sink that navy, but we'll never get it done if we don't get started soon. Wait, you've got a port. Alright, I've already recruited whatever navies I can at this stage. Okay then, time to build shit. Care what I build. Keep some money, it's all good. In fact, it's not even gonna, I don't think it's gonna cover all, all the costs. But it doesn't matter if it doesn't. Okay, let me just check public order, make sure no one's going to revolt. Everyone think, everything seems good. Okay then, let's move on to the next turn. I hope I didn't forget anything. I did. I forgot this guy. Um, what am I going to do with you? Come and stand here. Where well, is you? How come you're able to move so far? Come and join Archeon. Might as well. Could have sworn I had recruited another one, but I don't know where it is. 
And I don't even care. I didn't like that unit that much anyway. Let's move on. Oh, fuck. It doesn't matter. Leave the fighting to me! Yeah, lots of stuff I forgot to do. Doesn't matter. I figured the orcs might come at us. Jeez. Odds aren't very good. They must be sending a lot of black orcs. There's a, probably a good chance I'm going to lose this, but I'm going to fight it anyway. Because we've got the river crossing here. Might as well try and make use of it. And who knows, it might just win. I really hope the orcs aren't going to get any more free armies. Because it gets a bit tedious dealing with essentially cheating armies. Stand back just for a moment. You stand here, you there. And then everyone else stand behind them. That's not efficient, whatever. And they seem to have mostly melee units. Let me just see. I'm not seeing any archers. Just see how we go with that. Your slaves buy you service. Okay, right before they get close though, I want you to rush out and fight them. Thirty-three percent of them dead already. Yeah, I can't complain with that. How the fuck did that happen? Surely that's not all just them. Maybe it's because they've got so much experience. I don't know. Hang on. We want them to be in range to, for this. Ah, oh, whatever. Fuck me, I didn't expect to win this. This goes to show you, I don't, I don't know what to expect sometimes. Fuck me, of course I'm going to continue battle. Can we kill their general? Yeah. Kill 38% of them, then there's no need to continue the battle, because they're all dead. Man, I did, I did not expect that. Fuck, bring a full stack next time. They're bringing more, but this is good because they've they've left Averheim uh, a lot less defended. And this time they're bringing some arrow boys. Okay, well that's going to make things more difficult, but still, let's kill, fight them. Kill, kill. I do wonder, would people consider this just as dodgy, well not necessarily dodgy, as boring as the uh, blunderbuss sieges? Then again, this, these battles happen in like two minutes, whereas the sieges sometimes take hours, or an hour. To set everything up exactly the same way as it was before. They can put down spikes. 
Um. I wonder. Is it possible that I can actually put sparks down here? It doesn't seem like it. It's fine. We didn't need it last time. I don't think we'll need it this time either. Okay, and then we just wait for that. You guys have really good range. Not that much ammo though, they're all almost out already. I mean, just, just hold your fire. We're hoping to get a bit closer, you'll do more damage then. Okay, now's a good time to shoot them. Look at that, they're already broken. Just absolutely crushes them. You think these guys would start shooting? What the fuck? Yeah, now they're, now they're actually gonna then shoot. Taking some casualties though, because these guys are you know, firing back. But still, we've won the battle. Okay, I'm just going to send everyone to go and finish them off. Hopefully we actually take a few casualties so these guys here can recover. Weird to say something like that though. We didn't kill the enemy general in this one. Maybe I still got a chance to. I can find him. Whatever the case is, we, we didn't kill the general, I don't think, but we still killed a hell of a lot of them. 91. Hang on. Right, there you go. So, how many is left? 192. Not too bad at all. Jeez, we've got to kill a position right here. This is only really working because they're not, they're not skirmishing. If they were shooting back at us, we, instead of just charging all of their soldiers in, the, it'd be a lot tougher. this hide madu madu tata broken bone here whatever he cares good jeez he must be a legendary commander by now just about look at that not too bad at all confident defender Confident attacker as well. There's still quite a few troops in here, but nowhere near as much as there were before. Alright, let's see. They've recruited, I think, two extra units. Look, I'm, uh, I don't even know what's here, though. 
Let's watch over us. Come and come and stand over here. I need to see what's. Is any, okay, good. There's nothing else here, which means we're right to take it. No garrison script. We've got this hobgoblin garbage. They've got some ogres, but for the most part, we should be fine to take this on. But not today, because we're already at 46 minutes, so I'm going to take a break. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys, so like and subscribe. Part 80 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.